not fighting for money. Yeah. Yeah, that was not the way to solve the problem. meeting to order. Roll call. Charles Randy Sneed. Eric Parton. Sean Harlick. George Nall. Derek Jones. Lisa Moore. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> A motion to open the public hearing on budget 2022. Make that motion. Second. There's a motion by Erica, second by Sean. So no, you got it. All right. You're closer. The budget hearing for 2022. So to the public, is there anyone for, against? Any questions? If not, motion to close the budget hearing. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. And a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Minutes of 9 1 20. Any additions, corrections? Okay, motion to accept. Motion to accept minutes of 9 1 2020. Second. There's a motion to second to accept the minutes. Any discussion? No, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Citizens input. Pam's got groundhogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other than the groundhog. Do you know what they're doing back there? Digging holes? They, no. Oh. Uh, the people, whoever owns that. Because they, they surveyed and oh, they're moving everything out of all those buildings. Don't have a clue. Huh. You live there, you find out and tell us, okay? Well, there's a problem with that, you know, we're not allowed on that property. Yeah. Did he sell it? There's an eye roll, I saw. Where is it? He'll sell the eagle. Oh. Those buildings behind my house, between our houses. Tim Stevens managed them, but he don't They go on forever. I know. Okay, nothing for us as a put then. Other than that, I just want to thank everybody that uh, did the Memorial Walk or Members Walk last week. That was great up to the park. And the support that the downtown businesses gave the TGIF Friday this weekend for the last one I think was good. Um, I had an old uh, acquaintance that graduated a couple years ahead of me last night say that uh, they are just, they don't even live here, but they can't believe how much stuff we're doing. They love coming back to town, so pretty good. Old business attorney report. Only a couple things to let you guys know about. One, the Moore property, we've been, if you recall, involved in litigation. We had a, a bid process. We didn't have any bids the last time. We rebid that. We've got the next round of bids that we're going to open up at our next meeting on October the 6th. Um, so hopefully we get some bids this time. Regarding the off property development LLC, the suit that the town is involved in, that hearing is scheduled for October 27, 9 a.m. from 11, I'm sorry, from 9 to 11. Um, and I will need a representative from the council as well as somebody from the plan commission. Just things to be thinking about. We will need to kind of solidify that before the date of that hearing. And I'll obviously want to talk with whoever that's going to be. The next thing I have is a proposal from NDOT. They want to acquire a parcel of property of 0 0.02 acres, uh, which amounts to very little. But it's basically right on the, it'd be the northwest corner of the police station. It's so that they can put in an ADA curb. I sent an email to the council, Lisa, Jamie presented this to me, let me know what was up. Uh, but I sent that email, I think yesterday. So you've seen what's going on uh, regarding what they want to do. The first 
the threshold question is, is the town agreeable to selling that piece of property? And again, we're talking about something that's about as big as these two tables put together. Uh, there's also an easement or a right-of-way, as they're calling it, um, that's about that same size, that allows them to do the work to put in this ADA compliant ramp or curb. Um, the cost that uh, they're willing to pay is $1,000. The documentation that they presented, and Jamie has the full packet, and I made copies of it, but we're talking stuff that is that thick. They are basically going down the road of eminent domain. So in other words, if we say, nope, we don't want to agree with this and do it, and it's going to happen anyway, um, <laughs> just to let you know. Um, that's So the threshold question is, do we want to go ahead and, and comply with this and, and work with them to try to get this taken care of? Um, there's, a, there's a secondary issue that I'll bring up after we talk about that, and it's something that I've talked with this uh, individual named Kasim Askar from DLZ. They're an engineering firm out of South Bend. But right now the property, the, the police station, that building, there's two lots. Those are deeded in the name of the Argus, make sure I get this correct. But it's the, no, it's not, I don't want to see. It's, it's called the Argus Emergency Services Building Corporation. It's a nonprofit corporation. And it was administratively dissolved by the Indiana Secretary of State back in 1993. So it's no longer a viable corporate entity which causes problems. And talking with Kasim as to what do we do with this, um, there's basically a resolution that the town could put forward basically saying that the town of Argus is one and the same thing as that corporate entity that was dissolved administratively by the Secretary of State because town didn't keep up with that back in 93. Um, there's a way through that, a way around it. It will kind of complicate things and just make a little more work for us. But again, threshold question is, do we want to agree with that offer, accept this, and, and move forward to trying to get that resolved? If we do not, okay. And then we'll just, I'll let him know that that's where the town stands, and then they're going to move forward with their eminent domain procedures. Um, we're probably looking at the same money one way or the other. Um, that's what we kind of need to decide and talk about this evening. Derek, I, I'm looking at this map, and there's way too many numbers on here for me. Exactly <laughs> where is this? You know where we're the in the police station. Where we walk into the front of the police station. Mm -hmm. Where her little booth is? It's, yeah, yeah it's basically where the crossing guard mm -hmm. station yeah. is. And I don't know that it goes that far, though. I, they're looking into it for me. Um, I had a talk with, I don't remember her name now. Um, they want to put 88 sidewalks out there is what they want to do with that whole corner. So that's what they want to buy it for. But whether that crossing guard shack can stay or not, she's looking into that for me. So it doesn't affect So it's just that one, they came no, in and did all the rest no, of, of 10th no. through here, but they got to have, they got to buy the property to do that one? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Well, well, they're buying on both sides, aren't they? Okay, guys. Is it over by the post office too? I sent you the map. Yeah, I, I've got the map. Okay. I said it's just way too many. No, it's just right in front of the place. It's a, I'm, I'm serious. It looks like it's about the size of these two tables. So yeah. Put them together is what they're looking at. And the easement is about the same size. So they're wanting to put it on this, this uh, south East corner. No, 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 no. no. It's right the northwest corner. corner. Right there, corner right of the station. Right where the shack is, right in front That's of it. It's east from me, from here right now. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> south but of the yeah, building, the corner of that building. Of the property yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. But not across the street there by the post office? They're not wanting to no. do that, just that one little section. And this, we have to sell all this. All this is dealing with is this one little piece now. Can we see something in another two months about the other corner? Possibly. I don't know. But right now, this is all we have in front of us. So we accept their $1,000 offer or they do intimate domain and give right. us $1,000 anyway. It'll probably. probably be around about the same. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah. They, need, they need the ADA side. I, I what if we just tell them because they, they, they put, put it in ourselves and forget about it? Huh? What if we just put it in ourselves and forget about it? But yeah, because we. It's on their road. Then we'll lease it to them. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's basically the upkeep of that. <laughs> so that, so that, that would make them responsible for yeah. keeping that orange, the orange pad clean then. That's what you're saying. If we, yeah. we so that's just where I was saying. Are they going to come down here and keep the snow off of that corner and everything else? They'll have to all these ones they've put in, right? Hey, let them buy it because then they can't say they don't own it. Right, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Let them buy it then. But you're going to do it anyhow. <laughs> let them buy it. <laughs> we can have a nice pizza party for $1,000. Oh, make a signed letter of intent to start to overpass out here before we give them that. <laughs> We're worried about sidewalks and there are people getting hit out here and killed. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I get here about the mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ooh, I met with the attorney. <laughs> we do need to basically vote as to whether we would accept that offer or reject the offer. I make a motion to accept the offer from NDOT for $1,000 for that little piece of property up there on that southwest corner. I second everything that There's a motion and a second to accept the offer from the state for the property so that they can install an ADA compliant max. Any other discussion? Other than Sean wants to hold him hostage. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carried unanimously. Okay. So guys, at the next meeting, we're probably going to have a resolution that deals with the whole issue about, yeah. we have a corporate entity, and the guys, it's, sorry, it's, it's bigger than just this little piece of property, okay? Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, the whole building over there is owned by a defunct corporate entity, and that's Good. To me, that's an issue. So, so what can we do about that? that? that that's what he's talking about right now. That's what the resolution is going to address. Because first, we have to clear that up. Mm -hmm. We have to basically, basically put that back in the name of the town. Okay. Unless there's some other entity that you folks think we ought to do it, but I don't know who or where else that would go. But it ought to be. It's police. Are there any other properties that are like that? No. The well, one? these are the only two that are owned by that entity. That's what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Those are the only two that can get to do any work over there, we would have to own the property, right? You should. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's kind that. of the gist of this, and since 93, it's not been the case. I'll make a motion to allow Derek to start the process of converting the uh, property is currently in a defunct corporation under the town of Argus to a proper deed and title for that property. Second. <laughs> There's a motion to second to allow Drake to go ahead and prepare a resolution to clear up the deed on that property. The EMS <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. That's all I have to report. Okay. Any report? Motion to accept attorney report. Motion to accept attorney report. Second. There's a motion and second to accept the attorney report. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anybody have any other old business? Is that considered an old business, Mark? Or? That's up to you. Uh, well, uh, this is old business because it does concern the fire territory. Uh, Bart, De Bart Dean's going to be the uh, fire chief, and he's going to be uh, the head of the uh, fire and EMS both. And uh, so right now, as we have EMTs uh, that are town employees and, and they're working shifts and they're getting paid, I would like to make a motion to have Mark to be in charge of them to make uh, to be sure that they are not. I'm not sure how I want to word that. Overworking their schedule. So after the first few years, you know everything will fall under one. Mark will be in charge. We're right. trying to transition into right. that, but we've got obviously a couple employees that are right now being paid by the town, so the territory couldn't make that decision. So virtually, Randy's asking that that take effect now. Right. So after the first year these guys will answer to Mark, he'll have to approve payroll. He'll be the department head. Yeah. So virtually 
and just having that take effect sometime here. And he's willing to do the that for chocolate. He's willing to go ahead and, and take over and, and be I'll, the... I'll make a motion to appoint Mark Dean interim. Already made the motion. Oh, I didn't make any Sorry. Second. All right. Second. Second. Pass. You seconding the motion? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a motion. Would you repeat your motion, please? Make a motion for Mark Dean to be in charge of the, uh, he'd be the boss or the in charge of the department head for the EMTs, the two hired EMTs. For the EMS. EMS. Until December, till December 31st, and then when the fire territory takes place, then he will still be in charge. And but there's right a second. Now, we'll get started. And there's a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Jesus, what? Yeah. Any other old business? <laughs> New business Halloween. I say we have it on Saturday. Let's see if you got this. Well, Halloween was the 31st. You're trying to change it now, Lisa? Okay. Well, it's on a Sunday. <laughs> or did you mean to put trick or treating on there? <laughs> you said <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> That's what he said? Yeah. Halloween's always said. Halloween. When do we want to have the little goblins out? Friday night, Saturday night? I would think that Saturday. Uh, Saturday night yeah, would be the 30th. Yes. Yeah. 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 And the normal hours of five, five, to, five, five to seven. Five to eight. Five to seven. Five to eight. Five to eight. Five to eight. Can I go three hours? Yeah. I mean. They're little legs. They go a long ways forward. <laughs> the rest of us are Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'll make a motion to have trick or treat on October the 30th from five to eight. Second. Eight. Now is that for the whole town or is that business and everything? It's mm -hmm. for eight. Every business and everything? Yes. Yeah. And there's a second? Yes. All in favor of having trick or treat from 5 to 8, Saturday, October 30th, saying five, saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. It's a Saturday night. Give another one. Damn. It's not like those four. That's how I was dressed at one party. Oh my gosh. Ordinance 2021-13 budget for 2022. Is there a motion to accept or to pass ordinance on the first reading? So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second to pass ordinance 2021-13 on the first reading. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? I abstain because of the fire department. I cannot vote on it. Other new business. I'm I'm going to ask for a request to from Parkside Church to close um, South Street from Michigan Road to Maple on uh, Sunday, October 31st. For us to <laughs> post our, um, <laughs> our, our um, what do I want to call it? Fall party. <laughs> our fall party, yeah, no. Uh, far, 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 uh, our far, fall party. It's the same one you do every year. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be as big, it's, it's not open to the public so much. It's, it's just uh, from what hours, George? Mm -hmm. um, Nine to five. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. I'll make a motion to close the one between the park and the church. South Street. Yeah. From Michigan Street East to what's the next street? Maple. Maple Street. From nine to five on Sunday, October thirty-first, so as the church can have their fall get together that they have every year. There's a motion and a second to allow the street to be closed for the fall party. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Department head reports if there's no other new business. Police.
she, she had my report. Uh, here's a few things, I guess. Um, Gary Spratt, our new hire, we got, we got, got his stuff back the other day from the medical people in Indianapolis. He, they recommended him that he pass his medical and psychological, so I need, to do the, I need to do the paperwork and send that down to the pension board. So hopefully soon they'll be starting. Um, Central Squares or that computer, the CAD program that we're doing, they're really gearing up, so we're going to be maybe going here and there and doing some stuff with that, trying to iron out all the bugs and kinks. And the only other thing I got is like, I think you can see from our report, we had several criminal arrests this month, a lot of minor misdemeanor and traffic related offenses, but we also had a child molest case, a child solicitation case that we made an arrest on. We had an auto theft from town, which was recovered by Iowa State Police, two juveniles with a nine millimeter handgun. That's all I have. Uh, we have a person definitely interested in a position of SRO. That's about all I can divulge in okay. stuff right now on it, but we have a person that's very interested. We're still waiting on some details to make sure that we can do that. Uh, I'm not prepared to go any more depth than that right now. We have two people interested. Actually, maybe three now. Okay. And I'll let you guys know that um, I'm looking into the issue of if they can, in essence, opt out or exclude themselves from the 77 pension fund and simply be on PERF. And there's a statute that deals with that, which is a pile of fund rating. Um, I do have a contact with the 77 pension fund, and I just I need to get on that. I talked to the court earlier, and I've got time tomorrow that I will make that contact and see if I can get some answers on that. That is the issue that I was just alluding to. So. Yeah. I saw the And regardless, I mean, just so that we know moving forward in the future for anybody else, yeah. if we were ever in this position again, it's something that we ought to know. Anything else for Corey? Not nah, utilities? Um, in my report, everything's going good. Been busy like normal. Uh, we're finishing up Folker Park. I don't know if you've been out there. It's starting to starting to look good. We're getting some grass growing and everything. Um, we got one piece of sidewalk to finish up. We're going to finish that tomorrow and uh, hopefully get the rest of the landscaping done. I just hauled a bunch of dirt out there today. So uh, get that spread out, get it seeded. I think we might be done. Um, if you remember back, it's probably been almost a year ago now, we looked at that vision metering program. Um, We've been working with that for, for probably six, eight months. Uh, we decided to scrap that project. It, it just, we had, we had more problems and just getting more excuses and excuses. So we, uh, we're, we're pulling the plug on that. I've got another one we looked at today. Um, it looks like a lot more promising. So I'll let you know what we find out with that. We're the same thing. We're gonna demo it for probably a couple months if we decide to move forward with it about six months to get meters, so everybody's backed up on everything. Um, the tile out here in the alley, we got ours fixed to the county tile. The county, we had a camera today, I talked to Craig at the county, uh, they're gonna go ahead and replace their trunk line. It's shot, it runs right next to the Quanta up to, I think the back of the buildings, we're not sure if it goes under those buildings uptown or not but they're going to replace at least that section and we can get ours tied back into that and then we'll see where we're at. So, um, the, the building we're looking to build onto the EMS building, uh, we had a meeting last, last week or two weeks ago for the setbacks. Uh, we didn't get too far with it. The next meeting will be, is it October? October 5th. October 5th. I'm going to be on vacation that week. We need some representatives from the town there to answer questions. I got a letter from the state saying that they have no um, no jurisdiction down here off that road on 10. They don't care about that building, they don't care what we do. So it's up to us and the zoning 
or, or planning, whatever for that is. That's the first phase with the combination storage and PD. Yep. yep. So it should be pretty easy, but we do need somebody that. What time is that meeting? 6.30. 6.30. I'll be there as long as George, you said you be there. Yeah, I'll be here for this one. Because he's on the plan commission too, so he'll have to be there. Okay. Oh, is that in this building here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it kind of put me back a month on that, so I was ready to get going on that. Uh, the other thing is the subdivision that we've been talking about. The final thing is the uh, drainage. Um, I've been working with Craig with the county on that too. I think everything got okay today. I talked to him today. It looks good. So that was the last thing we're waiting on. So I'm ordering materials, um, transformers, stuff like that. We're, I mean, we're six months out. So I got to get this stuff started ordering. I've got some manhole started. He's just going to kind of work with work them in as he can. So I'll get some pipe order as soon as those manholes start coming. We'll price we'll get going. I've got somebody coming in to level that ground and get get that all going so it, it's going to be moving here soon so is that work you guys are going to do yourselves we're going to put all the tile in we're going to do the electric we're going to do all the rough in so and then we'll see where we're at i mean we we may tackle the road do, and stuff too i don't know jamie do we have or can we get the proper thing to put down in the trenches for the guys to be safe Yes, I have all that. Okay. I'll, I'll work with Haskins again like I have in the past. He brings all his equipment in, so it, it works. I, I can't rent the, the equipment for what I can pay to have him come okay. and, and work with us. I just so. to dig yeah. rocks and all that. Yeah, I just want to make sure that the guys... Yeah, there, there's one section that's like 18 feet deep. What we're going to do is we're going to take the top of the ground out so it's only like 8 feet, and then when we're done, we'll build it back up. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll make, we'll, we'll make it safe. I don't want nobody to get hurt. No, I don't either. So, um, and that's that's all I have. I don't know if you have any questions or anything. No, there's a lot here. No, no, we don't need Mark's report. Yeah, Jamie, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep him busy. Sean and I talked about this, and I've come down and talked to you too. We, we've had some problems uh, about people wanting to drive fast all through town and on these back streets. And the problem that we seem to see is we don't have enough speed limit signs. And I got looking, there's, I know Indiana Avenue is uh, marked, and a few of the, the state highways are all marked, but the rest of them, we, we need to get some speed limit signs. Uh, we need to drop our speed limit to probably 15 or 20. Uh, I wouldn't go any lower than Marshall Street. Marshall Street is. I go to sleep driving down Marshall yeah. Street. Well, 20 is. 20. We, we can do 20, we can do 25, I guess, on. on on the I voted no. But we need something to let people yes. know. Because I said, I had a guy try to tell me he could, there was no sign, more or less, that I had no proof that he was going faster than what he was supposed to be going. But Yeah, well, so I talked to Doug about this a little bit. Corey can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think um, any unmarked street is 25 miles yes. an hour. I believe, that, I believe that's right. Yeah, so whether it's marked or not, I mean 25. Right, but I, th I think we need to put the signs up. So Doug's looking into I buying I only 20 mile an hour myself, the same as Marshall Street. No. 25 is kind of fast for some of those streets, really. Yeah, some of the short side streets, but that's what we got to figure out, what well, we want streets at and all that, because like I said, if it's unmarked, it's 25. Doug's also looking into a, um, a small portable speed limit sign you know when you drive by it'll tell you how fast you're going yeah so we looked at a big we looked at one it was ridiculous how much it cost but he, he found a smaller one that may be I mean, we can move it around town and that's what he's for you, you take care of erica's little that's what she does for there's that? a bunch of kids that 20 would be yeah, you bored enough down like her. Her. and and there's certain streets we need to probably on an individual Look at them. Well, that's what we'll have to do. In the Especially vehicle, the narrow so. street, the narrow streets up there. Yeah. You know, the old part of the town up where I live and that and yeah. George lives. Them streets are too narrow to be running 25 on. This right. golf quick. cart goes faster than that. Yeah. What do you need, Corey? So, speaking of streets, am I understanding right? So, this may be a stupid idea, but the park, the regular town park, the community park. We, we. So that's basically a thoroughfare. I mean, that's a street, right? We we're. It's never meant to be. But we're we're it's on the street. Yeah. It's on the street, yeah. We plow it, correct? Mm -hmm. 
There's a speed limit, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that speed limit is lower. He'd have to look, but I guarantee you'll find a statute that ten you can't have a speed limit of ten miles an hour. Fifteen. Think, yeah, is the minimum. So that speed actually that was a the street speed limit. The speed limit is fifteen. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. So, I, I was wondering if we could good. name it. Main Street. Yeah. Bowman Boulevard. Well, not not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be easier for us. Marcus <laughs> Avenue. You you could, but the problem is going to be the park's going to want to give it to the town. So and that's and something that though. So the town doesn't plow it. Yeah, we we do plow it. But it's not in our inventory. King George Way. And that's something I'm looking into, and I think we need to talk about that because um, if we did name that street and put it into our inventory, we could use community crossings money to take care of it. So I mean, it'd save the, the park a ton of money to do it. And Ed and I have talked about it. I haven't kind of, I haven't gone too much farther into that, but I think Aye. that's something we want to do. Aye. I was just thinking from the standpoint, it makes us so we're just referencing right. locations. It makes it really easier. I think it's a safety aspect as far as somebody gets hurt on somebody calls in and say you know you're such such street it makes responding ems responding to their i mean they know where they're going they're not just looking for you know that's my take on it what kind of legals we got there Derek? i mean look you can change any of the speed limits you want for the, i mean that's basically i would say it kind of involve in depth look at what you want to do where you want to do it um not just a let's right but at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, and I'm not aware of any statute, and I'm not saying it doesn't exist. There's a minimum, I think, is what it says. And I don't that <laughs> could be the case. But, I mean, everybody just, there's a whole host of issues. Just I get, my up. question is for the, the park one, that street, to take it over, what kind of legal do we have to do with that? So that <coughs> could, since it's oh, in the park, in a town, actually owns the park, could you go ahead and I would say it's a public thoroughfare as it is and it's yeah. obviously it's it's owned by an agency or an entity of the town. We have the responsibility to plow it, maintain it, upkeep. Um, in terms of is your question about naming it or yeah. so that we could do what he says, do we have yeah, to name it or is it can we or is it considered it? our infrastructure? I think I, it is considered, no doubt it's part of your infrastructure. In other words, if somebody trips on a pothole uh, walking down the road, they're gonna sue the town and it's yeah. Whether it's the park board of the town, it's all the same pot. I mean, so I'll, I'll talk to Maycog. They yeah, should be able to answer that for me. And yeah. if they do, you want me to transfer it over and just get I it in the inventory? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. 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 So I don't even know that there needs to be any transfer. I think I have to add it to our inventory. That, okay. that, so I, then we could get money through the state for it. I'd, I'd name it something that fits right. for <laughs> like Park Street <laughs> or Chesky Pole or whatever. <laughs> George <laughs> George no, so you didn't get yeah. that. Right. Before you blow in the floor. Tiger. Park Street, we did it. I don't think that would be a hard to name it. Oh, no, they did the last one. No, no. No, no, no. We didn't let them name anything else. Yeah, who did that? Well, that's a part of the name. This is Park Street, though. I mean, it makes me not know. We did that for ourselves. Okay, that's. Yeah, why don't you check into that for a street, then? Goose Street. All right, fire department. <laughs> you were done, weren't you, Jamie? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's not me. Yeah, my report. That's boring. Yeah. That's boring. Yeah. The EMS then too, since you're in charge as of about five minutes ago. Yeah. 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 This the 21 of the season. Uh, that will go for new boots. So we just finished up the 20s in July, but the new 21 that I'll already you see that as well. So the year will be looking pretty good on 2020. That's all I have. Mark, did all the we received everything that we ordered? Yes, the, uh, the all the equipment that we ordered is in now because I knew yeah. some of that stuff was delayed. Everybody used them, but we have All the stuff from the ambulances too? Yes. Everything's here? Everything's here. While we're talking about the fire department, I want to take just a second and really thank you guys. You know, we, we did this, Argus did this TGIF, and the fire department not only 
put the fire trucks up to help block the highway. But four months, they furnished all the tables, all the chairs. They bring them out. They pick them up at the end of the night. Um, fire department picks up the trash. They have one fireman that goes around and picks up all the trash. They get all that done. Um, without them, we would have never had it. I really want to thank you guys because it really made the job easier for us because we didn't have to go scrounging around. I found out when we needed some extra tables that it wasn't as easy as I thought just to get them. So, again, just a big thank you to the fire department for all that they've done to help in uh, TGIF. Economic director? I'm not going to bring up any extra Nothing tonight. extra tonight? You're good. It's in there. Okay. Motion to accept the I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> motion to accept the heart department head reports. Make a motion to accept the department head reports. Second. There's a motion to second to accept the department head reports. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> I'd like to add to the real quick that just a thank you to Mark as well. Mark is working on a lot of stuff. And I thank him for that. He's got a lot of stuff he's trying to keep track of, and he's doing a pretty good job of it, I think. So. He's doing a real good job. Thank you, Melody, for allowing him to do this. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you didn't specify yeah. which mark. Yeah, you didn't specify. Mark Dean. Mark Vanderweel. Oh. <laughs> I hope everyone is not keeping track of me. Mark yeah. Dean's doing a lot of stuff too, but I wanted to thank Mark Vanderweel. I'm sorry. Well, you know, some of you know and some of you don't. Uh, he gets his kids off to school about 8 o'clock and he's right over here. And he's here long hours. Uh, I, he does put in quite a bit of time, and we have our meetings and stuff, and he's always the first one here, so yeah, he is, he's definitely putting in some time. We had a meeting in here last week, Randy and I and Mark and yeah. a couple others, and went well into lunch, I mean, we, never, we didn't leave until we were done, and uh, I thanked him for that. Uh, yeah. Claims. So you have my the report for September 1st through September 10th claims, which total four hundred and fifty eight thousand three hundred and forty six dollars and fifty nine cents. And I told you this was going to be a lot more because August couldn't close out by our first meeting, so. Any questions for Lisa? Still looking at it. Oh, you yeah. have them for Three four days. five days. <laughs> Make a motion to approve claims for 9 15 2021 for a total of $458,346.59. I'll second that. Motion is second to accept the claims in the amount of $458,346.59. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to adjourn. Motion carried. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried.